Hi there and welcome to another one of my lecturing videos. I've had so many requests for this specific video that I gave up and decided to do a video on mass balance with chemical reactions, showing you how to use the table method and discuss, discussing conversion and percentage yield, including topics like excess, limiting reagent and what to do with squiggly. This is going to be another video that's a bit rough, seeing that I'm struggling to get time to edit all of them. But let's see how this goes. Let's assume that we have the following two chemical reactions and that reaction one is the desired reaction. We are given the following system and told that 65 kilograms per hour of C2H2 is fed to the reactor with 11 kilograms of H2 and 24 kilograms of O2. And we are given a selectivity where we, where we are told that four moles of H2 is reacting in reaction one for every mole of H2 reacting in reaction 2. We are then asked to calculate the full mass balance, all species in and out, as well as the percentage excess, the conversion of the C2H2, and the yield of the C2H6, the one from the desired reaction, based on the C2H2 fed. Now before we can start the mass balance, we first need to get the additional or information that we are short. The only additional information we need to solve this mass balance is the molecular mass of the species as indicated here. Now let's solve this mass balance and I'm going to use a table to solve it. So there's my table and you can see top of my table I indicate all the species that I can have in the system. Uh, sorry, but there's one bit of info I forgot. We were told that the system is very reactive and that all the O2 coming in will react so that we have zero kilograms of O2 leaving the system per hour. So back to me using the table and solving the mass balance. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in what is coming into the system. And you should notice that my basis is one hour. So 65 kilograms of the C2H2 is coming into the system, 11 kilograms of the H2, and 24 kilograms of the O2. None of the C2, C2H6 and C2, C2H4O2 is entering the system. If we now use the molar masses, we can calculate the number of moles of every single one of these coming in.
Now in this case, the moles reacting are all the moles of the C2H2 reacting over the total moles of C2H2 fed to the system. And then the percentage conversion of the C2H2 is 0 0,9 or 90%. Now, guys, please, I said conversion of C2H2. I could also have said conversion of H2. Not typically used or wouldn't typically be used in a system like this, but I could have. And then it would have been moles reacting of the H2 over the total moles in of the H2, giving us a different answer. Next, we are asked to calculate the percentage yield. But there's so many ways we can calculate the percentage yield. And I've warned you about this several times. So let's say that the percentage yield we need to calculate is the yield of the C2H6 to C2H2. And then the whole thing is written out. Now something else. In this specific example, this also depends whether I ask you whether this is on a mole basis or a mass basis. And look here. As for the mass, 45 kilograms of the C2H2 is fed. 45 kilograms of the C2H6 is produced for 65 kilograms of CH2, C2H2 fed, giving us a value of, and if we're working on moles, it would have given us a value of 60% the yield, because 1.5 moles of the C2H6 is produced per 2.5 moles of the C2H2 fed. If we were asked to calculate the percentage yields of the C2H6 based on the theoretical possible yield, and let's do it on a mass and a mole balance again, we now have 45 kilograms produced again, or 1.5 moles produced again, divided by the 2.5 moles theoretically possible which is equivalent to 75 kilograms. And in this case, both of them work out to be 60%. And this is to be expected, because if we base it on theoretical, the theoretical amount produced, whether we have it in moles or whether we have it in mass, must be equal. I hope this video helps a bit and shows you to be careful of the percentage yield thing and look at what is asked regarding the percentage yield how to calculate conversion, little bit information on percentage excess, limiting reagent, but more importantly, how to use the table to calculate.